Well, I was a little bit concerned because this is not the goal of my work, how the health systems work with migration. When I was asked for this lecture, it was a general scenario of uh, the system and its challenges. Well, while I was listening to you to present this concerning migration and Isaacs, I think the reality of the care that is interesting for us, it's truth that comes from macro to micro scenario and the way it is confirming the health policies it has to do with some operational areas where we, in a transversal way, in each of these level, macro or micro, where the society may interfere, all those issues of the international agreements, the forums, the possibilities of integration, will influence the levels. In the mid-level, that is the management level, these policies will be a support for the daily life. But will it be like people to people, team by team, I guess when we offer um, medicine, when we offer assistance, when we assist the urgencies, but the possibility that uh, these forums exist, we may have more harmony. We need financing, we need support, we need controlling. Uh, no way if we have uh, the best professional on the basis, but uh, whenever they face adversities, they cannot work anyway. So it's very important that these agreements uh, and mailing these dialogue um, among uh, South American countries could happen. I would like to, to talk to you about a concept. Well, I'm sorry because uh, I have seen PKT with problems, so now I don't care if I have problems. I would like to start over a theory since the 80s in compared analysis um, that all the contemporary systems are converging to costs, to way of assistance, to a common way of behavior, human resources and differences uh, would, would happen due to the social conditions that are different, the amount of resources available, but the convergence would be centered in the demographic uh, transitions under the productive uh, process along the guidelines and international agreements in a sense that is uh, of the interest of these forums or the exchange face-to-face -face or people-to-people. -people. We have lots of waves that uh, look for strategies. And sometimes we cannot make this uh, knowledge transfer in a suitable way. Some examples, P4P, internal market, um, uh, problems with the health uh, that uh, under pressure they are not the more suitable. In the interest of comparative analysis or analogical to be to insert into the context. So the guidelines and the great the big waves uh, of uh, health policies are going to be more suitable to our scenario in a way 
that we can work with these uh, meetings face to face or people to people. And we also have a trend there in that way that the policies uh, are more efficient. So if you didn't read the introduction that is the opening conference uh, by Temporão, the opening of this book, it, it's promoted by, it was promoted by Isaacs, and uh, Temporão talks about the demographical transition and epidemiological transition, but others, nutrition, for instance, because they don't have the mother to cook, they, com they just eat processed food, the cultural, it's a very important uh, text. Um, at that moment, it was not inserted, uh, the issue of migration, because it was not as important as it, it is today. So our one of the barriers that we have is that we live in a society that generates diseases, but that uh, changes uh, diseases and health uh, uh, like a commodity. So it means consumption. And we, from health policies, we understand that we define and we, we defend and we advocate for the public service on health. We have to address the diseases, but we have uh, to promote health as well. And this is a trade-off to our countries. We have several kinds of systems from uh, central countries, non-peripherical. They are more pure as to say there is no pure system we have they have private insurance but they are different like uh, social securities so we have some uh, public uh, insurance based on contributions on private uh, insurances public assistance we have the united kingdom spain portugal and canada with a universal and the other ones based uh, like Germany and Portugal, that uh, the result for the public health system comes from contributions after the post-war period. I would like to show you this permissive entrepreneurial. It's a friendly way of calling the United States system based on private insurances, but some segment of the population. They do have Medicare, for instance, public assistance, medical care. We from Latin America, and I did not, I did not include our country there in that category because it is a very complex thing. We are quite different. We cope with three different segments: social security, public um, systems, uh, it, private insurances that grown has grown a lot in our countries in Brazil and as a trend in Latin America. And the concerns are different as well. Our systems are very segmented, splitted, but for sure the access is higher at the first ed, for instance, uh, and the expenses on uh, these issue also higher whenever we mention income transfer. In education, we cannot say it's the same. We have a, a lack of uh, assistance. We had three reforms that were very important that generated a lot of discussion at the, from the market in Chile. She's off mic. The books cannot translate.
I will explain you why. Before explaining to you why do we have this scenario, I would like to stress a remark uh, I've told you about before. For sure, the social systems or health systems, they are social buildings between quotes. Uh, there is several players, several actors that, that come from different interests, different sources, and it's a social building, it's a social construction. That's why the governance uh, translation. They are not static, they are dynamic, and Chile is an example on the national service with a big change in the Chilean health system. But throughout these years that I have been working with uh, comparative analysis, there is a big oscillation in, in cycle, within the cycle cycle crisis uh, where we need macroeconomic uh, cases it goes we go to the market and whenever we have an opening a favorable opening political opening health is assured as a good factor for social cohesion and it uh, promotes the universal guided by by the primary assistance or first ads. This speech changes, so it goes and come, it goes and come. It swings from one point to the other. We have on the 70s uh, governmental credit lines, and in the 70s we had some reforms, democratic reforms, um, because they have this uh, notion of uh, territory levels of a system, teams, and they were very democrat, because they talked about uh, trans knowledge transfer, and it was on the speech of the 70s also also passed by primary assistance and the agreements that we had uh, uh, till the 2000 is a house for everyone up uh, till 2002. This was a goal. What happened? From the 80s and the 90s, the last decade between quotes, but we had crisis before that, it was an adjustment in neoliberal ways of changing. We had a late change. It was within a scenario of a macroeconomical scenario. Spain as well, because they were leaving the dictatorship to democracy. We have a um, report from Martonell that uh, had implemented a logic or a logistic from the market uh, with the disassembles of uh, the English market. Uh, in APS, I guess you remember, it, it came from a report from the World Bank. It's a selective uh, uh, reform, uh, efficiency, and so on and so forth. So in a more recent period, um, this should be split into two. We had um, changes with the Labour Party in the United Kingdom, and they recover the medical care. They talk about uh, integration. APS comes um, more stronger and stronger networks. But from 2000, to 2007, we had another scenario. We have Obamacare in the United States. We have the European crisis uh, with a huge 
pressure over the national health systems uh, with uh, cuts and restrictions and the universal health coverage in the United Kingdom had a drop. Uh, even the coordination structure of primary care trusts, it goes to another structure, a light one, and the slogan was uh, really letting free the N H S and, and we had the universal health courage not not mo no more in the plural universal systems we have to think about two concepts if we notice on uh, universal coverage we have uh, networks we have ATS but uh, APS but I guess to, to mean Coverage, what does it mean? We have to think in two main discussions considering all this uh, universal. It's the surplus, excess concept and its relationship with, of the way of organizing the health system to assure sustainability. To have sustainability should be regular. So to introduce several actors changes this regulation into a very complex situation. In the United States, we have uh, several factors, although Obamacare tries to regulate in a much uh, more stronger way than the existing systems, but the, the concept of access and the concept of quality, that is quite important indeed when we adopt these policies. The access, because there is a, a difference in access, potential access, accomplished access, that is the use efficient and effective access and the more important is the one that saddle uh, comes with an opportunity in accordance to the needs this is an ideal uh, as a regulatory framework but this we need as a, ma a managers or controlling to have this as a goal, as a guide, and bring this relationship with the way of organizing the system and the way of rendering services. The other item is the difference of quality, considering the individual and the collectivity. -ness. We want to have the best and updated technology and the quicker way possible. Nobody wants uh, your mother or your son suffers from a waiting, but the collective concept of quality is to assure to drop inequality um, under sustainable cost. This is the concept uh, where we are discussing with all these um, contributions uh, and with all the concepts that I, I had stated to you at the beginning of my talk. Why that? Because we are facing an important segment throughout the economy. It's not only industrial. It means medical tourism, services, finances, um, consultancy, consulting area. So it's huge, the potential. And check, this information came from The Economist 2014. And it comes from a, a company, a private company. The markets at that time, 2014, Asia, Europeans, and Africa, Latin American, Latin America, she corrects herself, and we do not consider North American 0.7 Europe. I don't know the current dates considering Asia, maybe Africa, but we are 
quite a market, a very important market for these segments. And we are facing a sector that, uh, where it's difficult to regulate because we are dealing with human beings. So it's hard to set uh, controlling issues on cases that the media does have a, a big influence. Um, it's a very complex system. So it's better not to increase the degrees of complexity. I think this is the question. Do you want to assure an opportunity for making business, or do we want to have the access for people to assure this? Well, the reverse of the coin, the other side of the coin, is that the public services guided and uh, oriented in addressing the primary assistance uh, with less uh, casualties, less levels of mortalities, and this primary care sees that the Spanish sector has less expenses and expenditures with good results on health. But we have a problem. They are sustainable. But they have some difficulties because the public um, a way that favors virtues also keep some uh, uh, lists of uh, waiting for the services, and then the private insurance grows, and the controlling the human resources. We know that uh, if you, you earn, your earning comes uh, as a freelancer, you work more in a quicker way, but if you are from the public sector and you receive a monthly payment, for instance, you slow down on behavior. This is very well known, it's known by all of us. We have to create sustainable systems that assure this perception of quality in an individual level, because the sustainability will depend on that. So it's very dangerous. The middle class live in the system. It happened in Brazil. <laughs> we know we have a, we are a huge country, but we have uh, the middle class running out, leaving the system, the public system. I will wrap up uh, the systems that I've told, talked to you. I have some data for you to have an idea. Spain, that per um, capita, gives a contribution of 3,000 US dollars. It's not overloading the, IB, the, the IBP. It's more than Swiss, the GDP. <laughs> I will not enter the details because I won't have time. And this is not my goal to check whether they are more centralized or not. But I would like to let you with this uh, remark, considering Brazil from Spain, Spain at three or four times in the average of Latin America. So we organize well our systems if we consider uh, our precar so, so poor country in this very sense. Um, we have uh, in a chapter of um, a book, my book, I had lots of service and research from OCDE in a degree that we don't have here in Brazil, watching the causes and health, considering mortality, and the care quality, considering the, the countries, tracking neoplasias, and the access, the financial barriers, consultation at the same day, time of waiting, surgeries, satisfaction of the country, and uh, financing, and the expenditures that the family do have uh, with private 
insurance for that, for instance. The Commonwealth had a study that nobody's that bad in everything and nobody's good at everything. So we have some good things and bad things. The United States, they have a nice performance considering technology, new technology incorporation and um, tracking, but if we consider the satisfaction or health for all, they are not going to be green. But a lot of progress on non-smoking campaigns and other diseases that do incorporate technologies, um, survival, and um, extending the life post um, several diseases like cancer disease, but we have obesity, we have uh, uh, very low satisfaction, and that's why we had Obamacare passed in the Congress, although they have uh, several, several difficulties on doing this, but the cash flow and the access also it's very bad. Canada. Canada's trajectory has been less than ideal over time. My doctoral thesis was about the reform back in the 80s. It was about the Quebec's reform, which was uh, the one that was closest to what we imagined for the SUS. But I think that the system of uh, Canada has been facing a lot of difficulties related to a long wait list increase in direct expenses and child mortality. This is the UK where uh, we have advantages in terms of mortality, transport-related accidents, lower expenses. However, there are a few problems that need to be solved in the system. The same thing applies to France where obviously smoking is a serious problem, as it is in Spain, and they also have advantages in mortality and uh, hospitalizations, satisfaction, lower percentage of private insurance. However, there are problems related to the wait list, and the expenditure is also elevated in these countries. I'll wrap up by suggesting you to consult a matrix that we created in this observatory, which is the Ibero-American Observatory for Health Policies. It was created in 2011 out of an initiative of CONASEMS. It ended up comprising a network of universities, NGOs, financed by the Brazilian Ministry of Health. And uh, the idea is the same as Isaac's, uh, to make us Latin Americans to interact more among ourselves and to interact more with Portugal and Spain uh, because we have common cultural roots and frequently enough we're using benchmarks comparing with Canada and the UK. And this is not right. It's not right from an academic perspective, for sure. So, within uh, this OIAPS, we spent four years working jointly in an analytical matrix that would be able to synthesize the information that, in our opinion, needs to be taken into account by an observatory. This is what the matrix looks like. It's comprised of determinant indicators, conditionant indicators, and performance indicators. And there are 66 quantitative indicators. The health policy is a qualitative monitoring and I'll give you an example of how it's organized concerning these quantitative data. Concerning the conditionings of the health systems, uh, we work with uh, financing, production complex, and primary health care. In primary health care, 
which is a widely disseminated policy in our continent, uh, we can make no comparison with Portugal and Spain because not even in Brazil is it clear to us what is a primary care doctor. If it's a family health doctor, we underestimate them. If it's the public or private sector, it's not clear. And it's quite different from Portugal and Spain, where that's well defined, and it's a public career. If we only defined specialists in um, family medicine and community medicine, we would be making a relationship of less than one, or maybe one to two percent of specialists in Brazil, which is which is maybe biased, so we could not use these indicators just to give an idea of the difficulties in advancing to monitor our policies. And uh, this shows uh, just how to type OYAPs, analytical matrix. You'll see a conceptual matrix, the concepts used for that, and determinants, conditions, performance, like that. This is how it looks like online. You can click on it, you can click on the indicator. Jenny, for instance. This is common, uh, the Jenny. I should have used something newer, such as urban mobility. But anyway, just to give an example, just click here. And the technical record will come up. And you'll see a graph comparing countries as they look like today. The countries that participated in the matrix are not all, all the countries that comprise the observatory today, but rather uh, they're the ones that initiated it. Uh, we would not be able to add countries uh, at a turnum, otherwise we would not be able to set up the banks. It's an information technology that we're using here. This is an example of maternal mortality. Uh, it's something that is already decreasing in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but in general terms, the colors represent Brazil in green, Argentina in blue. In yellow, we see Colombia, Paraguay in Paraguay in blue, and Peru here. It was very hard to do this uh, because uh, I suddenly noticed that uh, the colors do not correspond to the flags. Well, anyway, look at our difference uh, between our different uh, ourselves and um, Spain and Portugal. Uh, we work with uh, avoidable morbidities. We work with uh, tracking programs and with unexpected procedures such as C-section rate. I want to show you the last one, which is concerning the leap in the commercial trade of all of these countries is negative. The uh, balance trade in pharmaceutical programs will work with patents and pharmaceutical programs. The Brazilian balance, the balance of the commercial bounds. Uh, they're recovering here, but this is, well, there are two uh, unanimities in these matrices between uh, Portugal and Spain, which is the negative balance in the balanced trade and the increase in obesity or overweight. There has been a global increase in overweight, at least uh, here in uh, the Ibero-American case. So to wrap up, in terms of uh, common challenges, 
Uh, we have to deal with the development model that the society uh, has or decides to have. With the political and financial options when it comes to social protection, the uh, production complex, the public-private coordination, and uh, the demographic and epidemiological transition. And the demographic in this sense uh, also has a psychological layer to it. But at any rate, I think that in the uh, micro uh, management, it's very important to be aware of the labor processes. Managerialism will not always yield good results. I think that health professionals want to have an autonomy. The reform in Portugal and in their primary care it's quite, is quite rich in that sense. The uh, generalist and specialist interaction uh, when it comes to uh, primary care, that's also a big challenge, as well as chronic diseases, the construction of an integrated network, which is a good work, but when it comes to making it work, uh, it, uh, not, it's not always the case. Many fragmentations uh, require that to happen in an adequate manner. Uh, the rational use of medications, management of the wait lists, uh, human resources, and of, of course, information technology and communication technology, which in fact need to be better used. Basically, these were the elements that I wanted to show you. And I'm going to leave you with the observatory website, which is not so updated in terms of news. It's located in the Collective Health Center at the University of Brasilia, and the headquarters are located in Fia Cruz. And we would like to keep on feeding it so that we could compare uh, the differences between the golden decade and the decade which, at least for us in Brazil, started with political and economic difficulties. And uh, we have to take that uh, reflex into account, which impacts our health system. So it's important that we're able to monitor this progress. Thank you.